Welcome back to Burn Peak. I'm Seth, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, but kind of the same. <laughs> this is Kyle, and this is April. Some of you guys might know them. They share tutorial videos online through the lens of April, who just started mountain biking a few years ago, but she has moto experience, so you kind of caught on pretty quick. But Kyle here is a professional mountain biker, and I'm really interested to see what you think of Burn Peak and what your interpretation of Burn Peak is. And so we're gonna take Kyle out there and see what he comes up with. Should this be the first feature we try? I'd say this is a great place to start. So the thing about the main frame is, it's this 90 degree turn with kind of these steep flat ramps on it. And it looks really obvious how to do it, but once you get up there, it feels a little bit different. I think I know what Kyle might try on this, or maybe I don't. This is crazy. Has anyone gotten this like halfway up and just, or I think I've seen videos of people launching into that tree, right? Yeah, yeah, no, every single thing that could go wrong has gone wrong on this. Okay. Oh, sh <laughs> you wanna just try and roll through first? Yeah, that'd probably be smarter. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Yeah, that didn't look very difficult. Let's try something else. Let's see yeah. if I can do something else on it. And then I'll try it backwards once. Oh! <laughs> yep, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, we'll you definitely it. got we'll that. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you got that second try. That's pretty impressive. You feel in snake pit? Sure. <laughs> okay. So for those of you who've never seen our older build videos, this is Snake Pit. It's basically a skinny line with a jump at the end that goes over a tree and onto a really skinny landing. And we call it Snake Pit because when they cleared the land to build my house some decade ago, they put all the stumps in here and now it's home to many snakes here on Berm Peak. Is there any trick to the jump? Like, no. Okay. It's a real tree. <laughs> <laughs> I might do just a test run just to feel it and then, then try it. It's like just narrower than your feet. <laughs> so it is. when you look down, it's like your feet are floating in air, but that's kind of gnarly. Oh, all right, let's try it. This is good. Cause uh, yeah, now I can relate to April more. Yeah. So that of course was no problem, but Kyle had some other ideas here. I almost feel like you could hit it backwards too. If you came in off the grandpa jump. I can't even wrap my head around that. I feel like it'll work maybe. You can't hit it backwards. There's no possible way to get the speed. It's all uphill, it's gravel, that thing's like flat. And then even if you have the speed, let's say you're like on an e-bike or something, you land there. Okay, testing, testing. That kind of almost looked right. Yeah, you were cooking. I'll at least get past the tree. Oh. <laughs> that, <Ow. ugh. laughs> oh my goodness. That was sketchy. No kidding? Yeah, that, that kind of worked. Yeah, I mean, you got it. I'm just glad that this isn't me right now. <laughs> So Kyle just took his water bottle off, shaved like, uh, I don't know, what does a water bottle weigh, like 80 grams or something? <laughs> I think that's what's making the difference now. I kind of feel like this will work. I kind of think it might not work. What? <laughs> okay, that was very clean. Phew. That counted. That definitely counted, dude. That's a that's a first time for sure. Thank you. There's no way anybody's done that before. I felt like since you invited me out here, I had to do something cool. Oh yeah, you <laughs> just put on for your city right now. I'm afraid to ask, but what next? You show me. This is the second thing we've looked at pretty much. So, <laughs> so Kyle hasn't really walked any of this or seen it yet. He's just gonna come onto the flight deck and see how far he gets. Oh, I almost died already. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, that's way gnarlier than I thought. Oh! <laughs> Wait for it. Ah! Oh, 
my god, I almost hit a tree. Okay, that, that's the first time that's ever happened. That's the first time anybody's hit that blind. Okay, well, when I went off the pucker plank, I was a little bit to the right and I almost hit that tree. So then I tried to correct and then it was all good. And then there's another tree right there too. So There are tons of trees. There's a lot here. It's like we're in the woods, right? Do you want to go look at the pucker pad? Yeah, let's do that. That one, that one looks a little gnarlier. So around this and then, oh. It's kind of funny how the gaps always look so much longer in person than on video because the video like compresses everything. But yeah, this is gnarly. This looks like a wheel breaker. Oh God. I'll just go as fast as I possibly can and then see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird the stuff you're second guessing and the stuff that you, you're like, oh, I'm gonna go backwards up the snake pit. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. Easy. Okay, that was smooth. Yeah, once you've done it, it's like, ah, oh, that's no problem. Yeah. Can you show me this though? Cause this one does look like legitimately. Good. Yeah. You just kind of go here and hook right a little bit and then you land here. And the part that gets in your head is when you're coming up to it, it really looks like you're gonna smash into this rhododendron. It really does. That's a rational concern, but you just kind of hook a little bit left and you land here and then you're in a nice comforting rock garden. I'll send it once and show you how it goes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know you were gonna be in the rock garden, so I went off to the side. I'm still nervous about this one for some reason, but. You're not gonna have any problem with this. Have you seen the teeter cannon yet? No. Okay, yeah, you're gonna be fine on this. This feels like payback day for me. For all the times I'm scared and Kyle tells me, you have all the skill to do it. Just do it and you're fine. Well, let's give it a shot. Oh, I almost died. So that was my bad. I almost nose case onto the uh, pucker oh, pad. Oh, onto the pucker pad. Yeah, redo, I'll be right back. You got it. No problem. So Kyle, I can only assume that when you went down there, you caught a glimpse of two features. <laughs> well, that's what I was gonna say. I was super excited until right here. And then I turned the corner and then I was like, oh no, let's go take a look. April hasn't seen any of these vi the videos with those in it? No. Check that thing out. <laughs> that's so tall. You can ride it like a teeter-totter or you can just boost it. How tall is that? That's like seven feet. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tall. I mean, maybe ride it like a teeter-totter first and then ride it a little bit faster and kind of slam down and then you'll realize that it just works. It's a lot gnarlier in person. Yeah. Major credit. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> He's got it. It's actually... I don't know if I want to use the word intuitive. A little faster through the rocks and a little more pull. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did that count? That totally counted. You Did caught it? that perfectly. Okay. I couldn't tell if it like went down or not, but that was, it feels so weird because you don't feel like you actually jump. Well, because as it's falling away from you, it's still kind of like, touching your tires a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure if I did it or not, but that was... It's new feelings. It is weird. Yeah, you don't want to like a uh, landual that or anything. Huh? Well, let's try it. Oh my God, I was just kidding. So a landual is when you land in a manual. If you don't ride mountain bikes, it's like a wheelie, but you're not pedaling. It's a lot harder than a wheelie. Oh, so close, a little bit better. Okay, one more time. Oh man, you almost locked in. Uh. <laughs> You were in a manual all the way to the bottom. That totally counted. Let's let's watch it. But yeah, that that counted in my book. That was the first time anybody's ever done that. Thanks for the inspiration. <laughs> I know you love manuals, so <laughs> yeah. I have a little bit of an idea I can show you down here at the Elmer Fudd Bridge. Okay, so down there you can see the bridge kind of turns a little bit left. Yes. I had one person jump off there and just land to flat, but I've never had anybody do anything involving manualing the bridge. Nor could I see a way for that to go smoothly. This might work, this gap thing, because there's a little bit of a bump jump right there. This is gnarly. Let's just ride it first and then we'll assess. Oh. This is so steep. <laughs> Oh wow. 
it's steep, you know? <laughs> it's super steep. It's funny because all the times I've watched you guys hit that, it looks like maybe it's on a kind of slightly down slope, but you're fully controlling your braking the whole way down and everything. If you were to try to just let off your brakes, you would just die. So let's go just play around for a sec. That oh. seemed like a better idea than it was. But that was super sketchy. <laughs> In slow motion, that looks unbelievable. Like you are manualing down that thing until you came face to face with that stump. That was sick. Second run down the FUD bridge. That's that's incredible. <laughs> well, yeah, we got that uh, barrel-y looking thing up there. So yeah, let's go check it out. Sick. Wall rides are another one of those big commitment things. And this one's really steep, so. <laughs> Oh, it's so easy. Is it? Yeah, once you get on it, you just, you're glued to it. Okay, I'll trust you. Normally I wouldn't say trust me, but when it comes to this wall, it is actually really easy. Once you get on it, you're just in it. Okay, that feels so sick. It just works once you're on it, right? Yeah, it feels really cool. You said that Joe tried to jump out and land in a manual? Joe tried to jump out and land in a manual and he did, but he didn't, he wanted to manual completely off this jump. Oh wow. And honestly, I think if we had enough time, he would have. Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Feels so weird. Okay, that was better. That was closer, closer. Ooh. Getting there. Oh! <laughs> I'll put him in a baby pose. I knew this one wasn't gonna be easy because I've seen Joe try it a bunch of times and he is, he manual this whole roof. Yeah. So yeah, this one's not easy. It's gonna take a bunch of tries. Bleep, 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 bleep. I'm so angry at myself right now. <laughs> I know how it feels. What the definition of insanity is? Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Kyle feels bad about trying this over and over and over again, but like, I come from BMX. This, this was what my afternoons were like when I was a kid. Oh, no! That was so close. So close. Oh! Dude, dude. <laughs> yeah. dude. That was incredible. Huge props to Joe. Joe, that's a knuckle for you. That was seriously so hard. like you tried that a bunch of times and then you sat there and worked it out. That's the hardest thing I've done in a long time. And it's funny because it's like not super gnarly intimidating, but it's technical. So. You probably learned something from that even. Yeah, I learned that uh, Kevin's the master at feedback. So <laughs> <laughs> I just had to listen to what he said and then April had to stand there to help me. So, so what did Kevin say they got you through it? He said, just do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool, just do it. And then I did it. Just Kevin, you told him to do it and he did it. Yeah, I mean, that's a really hard thing to do. So he should be really proud of himself. So I'm thinking Nolly off the drama drop. Okay, which one is that? Is that that big one that just goes to nothing over there? Yeah, the one that goes to nothing. Okay, that's gonna suck <laughs> a lot. I like the landing you built. Yeah, the whole point of this is that it's, it's like you can test stuff. Like if you need a brutal drop, this is kind of, we just built it for that. It looks just like that. Or your challenge is, okay, so come into it so, like this and then back wheel up. Yup, and, and then jump off. Okay. Jump off off your front wheel. There's a Woo! giant root in the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just land on the root. Okay. I'll need at least a few just normal ones first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, attempt number one. <laughs> I landed right on the root. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. This is crazy. It almost felt like it would have been easier to nolly. That was 
full commit. That was good. That, that was, was a really good one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Does that count as a survival of Burn Peak today? A hundred percent. So, I did not mislead you. Insane things happening on Burn Peak here. Kyle, what do you think the scariest thing you did today was? Probably all of it. <laughs> like, all of it, every single time, was the scariest thing. It just kept going throughout the whole day. So, honestly, this, it doesn't seem the most dangerous or sketchy, but gnawing, stuff like that, if you clip your back tire, it just throws you forward. And I wish you could see on camera how steep and just rugged this is, but uh, that was probably the sketchiest. That, was, that one got my heart going the most, for sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see tutorials from Kyle and April, follow their YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link to it below. And until you come back next time, I guess you're safe. I'm a huge fan of yours, and it felt like I was Charlie at the Chocolate Factory. So, <laughs> Well, thank you very much, and thank you for riding with me today. I'll see you next time. I almost died. That I've heard good. that before. Okay, that was good. That was good because that was the worst thing that could happen. And so I did that first and. Oh, that's not the worst thing that could happen.